to get reports on permissions on Outlook and Exchange folders, and to set the required permission sets, use Relief Jet Essentials for Outlook. First we will build a report on the current permissions. Let's select the Inbox folder with all its subfolders. This time, we do not need a detailed report. We want to see all users. Run the utility and wait until it finishes. The report shows that only default permissions and permissions of anonymous users are configured. Let's remove all current folder permissions by using the appropriate utility. The utility allows you to select one or more folders and users whose rights you want to revoke. In addition, you can remove the default and anonymous permissions. Run the tool and wait until it finishes. Let's build report on permissions again. As you can see, all permissions have been removed. Now we will set permissions for the selected users. The utility allows you to select one or more folders and users to set the selected permissions for. Add the required users. If necessary you can set the default and anonymous permissions as well. You can select one of the standard Outlook, Exchange permission levels, or set up your own permissions. To read. Edit. Or delete as well to create items, folders, and other settings. Each permission can be set, removed, or left unchanged. Let's set the editor level for selected users. You can see which permissions will apply to the selected level. Run the tool. Now let's build the permission report one more time. This time, we will show the detailed report only for users with permissions. Run the report. As a result you can see the access level and individual permissions for each user of each of selected folders. You can save the report to CSV file or copy it to the clipboard for use in other programs. For example, you can paste the report to Microsoft Excel. You have explored only a little part of Relief Jet Essentials for Outlook. Other than those presented, the product contains a variety of other tools to perform a wide range of tasks.